Yes, that side. Taking the girls to the library for the first time in their life. So this is the Kenya National Library. I want them to know where they can be coming to do their personal studies, to come and do their reading. Where are we going? Abu, tell me where are we going? Pam Pam, where are we going? Tell me. You are carrying your bag. Tell me where are we going? Eh? Come and tell me where we are going. Come. <laughs> Tunaenda wapi? Nine. Tunaenda wapi? Sema library. Tunaenda wapi? Library. To do what? Eh? To do what? Eh, uh -huh. to read. Okay. So Pamela, come and remove your shoes here. To have yatu. Na pa na wewe. To have yatu apa. Eh, munaenda nazo kusome ya uko. Remove your shoes. Priscilla, wewe unaenda kadi apa. So you go there. You can play. You can do your work. Pamela, where is your book? Where is your book? Copy book ya Pamela. Sawa. Can I leave you now? Bye. And no making noise. No making noise, okay? No making. No making noise. Don't make noise, okay? Don't make noise. No noise in the library. Okay. Okay. Doctor, this is Amanda. Take care of them. Okay. No making noise. You, you read from here. Or you come and sit here. Come and sit here. Sit here. So you, you read from here. No making noise. And you take good care of them. If you want to go to the washroom, it's there. Don't go anywhere. I'll come for you. Don't go anywhere. Okay, I will come and pick you. If you want any book, you can pick any book from them and also from here. Okay, bye bye. We can go. And then we go upstairs. Everybody is good? Yes, yes, yes. So hi, hi, hi my people. We are back again here with my girls. Uh, they are still not yet back to school. They were on midterm break. School midterm break. Since when? Since when? Thursday. Since last week Thursday, they have been at home. And because we don't want them to stay idle, I'm taking them to do their studies in the library. We have a national library near where we live and that's very convenient for us because um, at least now they are going to learn the life of uh, doing your personal studies in a quiet place, get to understand the meaning of um, a library, 
get to know how to make use of a library even get to know what is a library because this is this this is their first time they are they are, they are, they are visiting such a place eh? pamela what is a library <laughs> on this song what is a library a library ni kuenda kusoma mm -hmm. uh, daktari what is a library? Yeah, people read. Yay, clap for Daktari. Clap for Daktari. Look at you. Pamela, you're not clapping for Daktari. Good. Yeah, so at least now they know, they have an idea that the library is a place where people go to do their, their studies, their personal. What is the rule? What are the rules when you're in the library? Rule number one. Yeah, you see, those are the 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 the, 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 the GSUs. Yeah. So here today, in our country, there is there is a lot of tension. Like the car that have just passed us is the one for for for, for the security personnel because. Uh, yeah, the 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 there the, the are demonstrations going on, political demonstrations. So we are praying for peace in our country. So the car that has just passed is uh, full of the security personnel who are trying to keep peace all over, and that is why the girls did not resume to school today. The midterm break was to end today, but uh, because of the the tension that is around and uh, the, the, the the political instability because of the demonstrations led by the opposition party we were advised not to take the kids back to school today so we are going to observe how it's going to be and then tomorrow now if uh, by evening everything has stabilized they can go back to school yeah so back to you girls we were saying what are the rules when you're in the library very good. No making. Noise. Everybody no making. Noise. Very good. And then rule number two. No running. No running, running, running all over. Okay. Because when you run, run all over, you distract other people who are reading. Okay. Rule number three. No. No what? Eh, yeah, no kupiga noise. <laughs> <laughs> no kupiga noise is no making noise, okay? Good girl, no making noise. Rule number four. No tearing books. Kuna kudarua rarua vitabu za library, okay? You take the book, you take good care of the books. Take good care of the books. You go very quietly. You take the book that you want from the shelf, okay? You take the book that you want to read from the shelf and then you read it and then after reading it what do you do you return where you, get it. you return where you got it or if you're not able to return you put it on the table vizuri place it on the table nicely and then somebody from the library will come and put it back eh? yes. but you should not destroy any property in the library you should not do what destroy any property in the library okay yes. yeah so we are here we've already arrived to where the library is and uh, it's a good thing that i'm excited about uh, when i when i'm introducing these girls to something mm. new every time i feel happy i feel excited because if they get into the culture of understanding how to use a library understanding how to do personal studies understanding how to use the the materials found in the library that is the best when they grow up and they're in high school they'll be able to come on their own when they go to university when they, they are doing their research when they are doing their paperwork they know there is a library and they know there's somewhere that they can go and do quiet studies and benefit from there so unfortunately inside the library is very tricky to do a video for you maybe you can just take a little uh, glimpse of 
just what randomly what they are doing but um this is how far that we have come with my beautiful girls what can we tell god it's something beautiful it's something that we feel so excited about because um, we understand those people who have been walking this journey with us and know how it has been since we picked these girls from day one i know you understand the miracle that i am excited about because we are talking of girls who had stayed in the slum all their life never been taken to school so it is it was a sad moment it was um a lot of uh, desperation and hopelessness because how do you explain a child of eight years having never been to a classroom it was a miserable miserable time but god came through for them and that is why i go all out i go i am and i very 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 unapologetically go out there to try to give them the exposure they need to try to give them what they missed in life you know intentionally i want them to get to enjoy what they never enjoyed in life and i know that's the same desire that you have for them these are kids that the devil had condemned they will never school they'll never amount to anybody they'll never do their studies they'll never go to school you know it is like the devil had soon they will live in the slums never be educated never be learned but see the hand of god god just sent his help rescued them from the heart of the slum and here they are now they are speaking english now they are in school they are progressing well in school every moment every one day at a time what can we say isn't that touching lives through love you know because the biggest gift here is just love the i always keep saying and keep repeating the biggest gift that i have given these girls is just the simple gift of gifting them with love loving them because it is love that makes me a moment like now instead of going doing my things out there i sacrifice some little time to put them in the car and bring them to the library it's just a gift of life it's not costing much and that's why this channel we say we are all about touching lives through love and for anybody who would want to get a genuine trusted platform of where you can touch a life through life through love this is where you you belong feel free our number is always open to the members of the public that number is for you to call call and say gladys i want to touch a life through love where can i do this tell me i am thinking of this i'm planning of this i've been desiring this my burden has been like this can you get me this person i i help in this and this way that's why we keep our number public out there because there is no need of um of me being able to do what i do and i got a lot of feedback from people everybody calls me and tells me gladys i admire you gladys i love what you're doing gladys i wish i could do what you're doing then why should why should i block the door for you why should i close the door for you what i'm doing is not so peculiar is not so unique is not so difficult anybody and everybody can do it for as long as you have love in your heart to do it anybody can do it and that's why i keep opening these opportunities to all of us you know come on board call these numbers plus two five four seven one three three one four five two two plus two five four seven one three three one four five two two just let me understand in which area would you like to touch a life through love and then i'm going to place you and connect you with a life that you can touch through love so uh we want to go to the library i'm feeling excited i'm feeling happy every time i'm introducing these girls to something new that they have never seen before when you see our day one the previous i i, I know you have already seen the previous day that we came with them the day one you could tell the excitement you can tell the joy and trust you me they are making sweet childhood memories they are writing down their childhood memories when they are fully grown these are things they'll fall back to these are the stories they'll be giving these are the stories they'll be 
telling people these are the childhood memories that will be making their life sweeter and spiced up these are the things they will tell the nations when they are testifying of the love of God because when we touch lives through love we are sharing the love that we have with somebody that needs it we are transforming a life we are impacting a life we are touching a life just by sharing that love and by sharing that love you are making that person understand how the love of God looks like you are making them understand how the loving nature of God looks like so when that person goes out there and they hear God loves people God loves you God cares for you God is a loving God God is a loving father they are able to understand it very very fast because they have seen you share the, your love to them and impact their life your life to them through love so uh, if possible, I'll be able to capture a few moments uh, in the library for you so that you can just get to appreciate how far God has brought these kids. And for those ones who, who never watched our 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 initial or our original story of how the girls were rescued from the slum, time to time I'll keep pinning the, the link to that story. It was aired by none other but Lynn Googie, an amazing, amazing woman. And so I'll keep pinning that uh, link so that you can just go back, get to watch the original story of how the girls were rescued in the slum since the year 2020, and get to appreciate where they are so that when we are celebrating small milestones, like they are able now to go to the library and study on their own and put books, take books from the shelf, be with them on the table, study on their own, you are able to join us in celebrating those small, small milestones. So love you guys and keep it here at Touching lives through love we love you Mwah. yeah so we are heading to the library the girls are excited you see they are all cutting their bags happy excited this is how we are utilizing our day when the demonstrations are going on the schools are interrupted today because of the demonstrations going on but for us, we want to utilize the day instead of the girls staying at home and they miss school. We can utilize the day in the library. Yeah. So this is a national library. It's a big, big, big library, you see? It's a big one. It's a big, big library where people from all walks here in Nairobi can come and study and do these studies. Yeah. You have to remove your shoes, okay? So if you need any book, you can pick from any shelf here. Okay? You, you have come. <laughs> you want to pick which book? Which book? The one with the cartoon. The girls are asleep. The girls are sleeping. Look at them. Look at them. They are tired. They are very, very tired. Priscilla, wake them up. <laughs> you are sleeping in the library.
yeah that's how our experience our first time experience our very 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 first time to go to the library with the girls that's how it was we at least uh, managed to go two days so the one was the most weird one because they did not know where to start, what to do, what is expected of them. The two was also funny. You see, the, the little ones slept. They could not keep up the long hours in the library. So the, our chief justice and our Miss World fell asleep and they comfortably and deeply slept in the library. <laughs> With time, they will catch it. But uh, it was a whole lot of ex excitement, joy at the moment with the girls going to the library, all, of, all looking out to this new beautiful experience, and I'm happy that they got the best.